Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to Office 365 Concepts. This is the second video of this series where we are talking about Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant, MFC Mappy and Calendar Checking Tool. In the last video, we talked about Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant Tool or SARA Tool. We discussed what is Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant what are the system requirements to use this tool, how to install, and we talked about all the issues those can be fixed using Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant. In this particular session, we are going to learn advanced diagnostics. We will discuss what is advanced diagnostics within SARA tool, what is the purpose of running these diagnostics, what sort of logs we can get from these diagnostics, and I'll show you how to collect and how to analyze advanced diagnostic logs. When you run advanced diagnostics using Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant, it runs a detailed check on your application as well as on your machine. And it gives you a detailed report of the issues. Those are found during the checks and it suggests you what action you can take in order to resolve the issues. You can run advanced diagnostics for multiple types of scenarios. Let's say you are facing an issue with Outlook client. You are getting password prompt within Outlook. As an end user or as an administrator, you have done almost all the troubleshooting, but still you are not able to fix the problem. So by running advanced diagnostics on affected users machine, you will have all the details of the Outlook profile, Outlook configuration, machine configuration, what could be the cause that you are facing this issue? All the details or all the reports you can get from advanced diagnostics. To run advanced diagnostics, open Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant. I have shown you how to download from where you can download the tool and how to install it. This is pretty simple to install, just follow the instructions. Once this tool is installed, open the tool, go to advanced diagnostics click next now here it says which advanced diagnostic would you like to run you want to run it for outlook client for office for exchange online or for microsoft 365 network connectivity test let's say i want to run it for outlook so select outlook go next now it says create a detailed report of my outlook office windows and mailbox configuration so this is basically asking you what sort of diagnostic you want to run you want to run a detailed diagnostic you need a detailed report or you just need a report for your outlook calendar to identify and resolve issues let's say i want to run a detailed report or detailed diagnostic for my outlook client that will include my outlook client configuration my mailbox configuration office configuration as well as windows operating system configuration so click next now again you need to make sure you are running this tool on the machine on which you are facing the problem it says support and recovery assistant must run on the computer that is having the problem you selected is this the affected machine yes this is the affected machine click next now this tool will take a couple of minutes it will run few checks in the background and based on the findings it will give you the results so here we can see the detailed report of the findings now here you can see three tabs it says issues found as of now in my outlook client i'm not facing as such issue but still let me show you these findings it says room finder hidden because microsoft exchange add-in is not enabled now this is giving me a link for the public documentation as well click on this link and this will open a Microsoft TechNet article that you can follow. This is just for an example I'm showing you. Next, you can see this web dev server. So based on this scenario for which you are running this particular diagnostic, you will see the logs.
Now next is detailed view. Here you will see the complete configuration of your Outlook, your operating system on which you are running this Outlook client and your mailbox configuration. But apart from this section, I would suggest you to download these results first and then analyze them. Now, if you want to download these results, click view results in my browser. Go to Chrome. Here you can see these logs, issues found, detailed view and configuration summary. If you want to download these logs, you can go to next. And here you can click see all logs. So these are the logs. Those are collected during advanced diagnostic check. So these are the same reports that I am analyzing here. Now let's go to detailed view. So it says machine details. What sort of machine I'm running? Computer details, you can see here. It will give you every single information of the computer. BIOS, drive, information, antivirus, everything you will see here. Apart from this, let me show you in configuration summary. Let's analyze it from here. Okay, so this is the computer information. Antivirus. Now from here, you can see the office configuration. What bit version of Office you are running? This is 32 bit, version is 2016. Where it is installed in C drive, this is the location. This is click to run, and Outlook build is this. And Office SKU, I'm using Microsoft 365 apps for business to activate this particular Office. The account that I'm using in Outlook client, that particular account has this particular license assigned. You can check this information as well. Apart from this, this is again version 32 bit Office SKU and add ins. You will see what sort of add ins a particular user has installed. Whether these are third party add ins exist zero, that means I do not have third party add in. Registered add ins, you will see here. These add-ins are installed in my Outlook, right? Few add-ins are default. Most of the add-ins in my particular scenario are the default add-ins. Now here you can see add-ins with non-problems. You can expand it. And you can see this particular add-in is causing some issue in my Outlook. So you can disable this add-in in order to isolate the problem. If you have Microsoft Dynamics, CRM add-in, you can check it from here as well. Sometimes Microsoft Dynamics CRM makes Outlook performance low. So sometimes you can identify, you can uh, feel like your Outlook is freezing or it, it goes to not responding. So you can disable the add-in and then you can isolate the issue. Next, you can check the registries. Those are configured in your machine related to Outlook. You can check all that information from here. You can check office policies and event logs. Now event logs can help you to troubleshoot the issue. You can see all the event logs here. Those are related to Outlook client. You can expand the event and you can check the description. If it matches the problem, you can troubleshoot the issue. Like this, you can check. Next is again Outlook registry. So you can check all these logs this way. So this particular advanced diagnostic will have entire the complete information of your mailbox, of your system, and your Outlook configuration, including your office configuration. So this way you can analyze the logs. And if you want to download you can download it from support and recovery assistant tool as well and you can analyze the logs from here this is the browser file that we were just analyzing now apart from this if you want to run 
advanced diagnostic for any other scenario you need to close this tool and you need to open it again because there is no option to go back to the home page so select advanced diagnostics go next now if you want to run advanced diagnostics for office select office go next select the option what type of diagnostic you want to run click next and follow the instructions if you want to run advanced diagnostics for exchange online that says i need help with mail outlook outlook on the web or other exchange features select this option go next select what type of diagnostic you want to run check exchange online network connectivity or perform authentication checks follow the instructions like we did before and if you want to run microsoft 365 network connectivity test select this option and just follow the instructions so this is how you run advanced diagnostic logs using support and recovery assistant tool in the next video we are going to talk about mfc mappy tool we will discuss what is mfc mappy what we can achieve using mfc mappy tool and we will discuss few use case scenarios where we can use mfc mappy tool so if you have learned something new from this particular video please write in comments and subscribe to the channel thank you guys thank you for your time take care